So we've got a window sash here, just like you would find in any double hung window in somebody's home. Right. So like, let's say I'm out cutting my grass and a rock hit, flies up, hits the window, it breaks the glass, and I need to get this glass fixed. Do I need to replace the entire unit or can I just fix the glass by itself? Yeah, you don't have to replace the entire window and a lot of folks think you think you do. Mm -hmm. You can get away with just replacing the interior of this. There's an insulated unit inside this. It looks just like this right here. Okay. It's a completely sealed unit ready to go and a glass company will come out. They'll take this frame apart mm -hmm. and they'll literally just replace the glass piece itself. Now, they will take both pieces out because it's a sealed unit. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you can just replace one of the two pieces because it's double pane. Mm -hmm. You have to take the entire sealed unit out, whole new sealed unit goes in, and then you put it all back together. So let's, let's talk about the sealed unit for a second. This is actually considered an insulating glass unit, correct? Yes, sir. Can you explain a little bit uh, about how that insulation process works? Sure, so you have two pieces of glass that have a aluminum spacer in between. They make spacers out of other, most other materials, but for the most part, aluminum, and it's completely sealed and has a desiccant inside to absorb moisture. Mm -hmm. There's dead air space in between the two pieces of glass, and that acts as an insulator. So it's basically a piece of glass, air space, and then another piece of glass. That's and that correct. creates insulation. Yes, sir. Does the frame itself actually play a part in insulating as well? Absolutely. Depending on what the frame is made out of, mm -hmm. you could be transferring whatever exterior temperature to the interior of your house. What are some of the options for frame materials? So aluminum is the old school standard if it's not wood. Aluminum is not a very good uh, insulator, but this is a vinyl unit. This is a great energy performing uh, product. And you also have wood windows now that are really, really good. So essentially you have two really high end pieces of that. If you've got aluminum windows, you, you can obviously may want to look at upgrading. Right, especially depending on your geographical location. Um, if you either get really hot summers or really cold winters, this could actually probably take your heating and cooling bills down significantly by upgrading all of your windows to something a little more energy efficient. Absolutely, you can really pick and choose kind of what you want. There's a lot of color options. There's a lot of design options. This has got an exterior mutton bar on it. Some units have an interior mutton bar on it. You can do no bars at all. And the other thing you can do is you can pick how uh, well the glass itself performs. Depending on where you are geographically, it makes sense to have a better energy performing product that blocks out UV uh, in more southern states in the north. I noticed this actually, this particular piece actually has a sticker that says low E. Um, what does low E mean when it comes to insulating glass units? So low E is, an, is basically a coating on the interior of the glass. So you have an outside, an outside unit and an inside unit. Well in between, they actually treat one of those two pieces of glass, sometimes both pieces of glass and the, what they treat it with, that actual product itself becomes a, an energy saver. It doesn't allow UV light to pass through as easily. So that could definitely keep a home a lot cooler in the summer months. Absolutely.